impacted every game in this uh, Cubs series so far. Of course, they got both games in yesterday. You can see the lights that are on there. Coors Field downtown, 51 degrees. Uh, temperature here at first pitch, 53. Uh, by the end of the ninth inning, not much change at all. We're going to stay in the lower 50s during the entire game. And as I mentioned, there's the possibility for a rain delay. This is what it looks like up along Interstate 70 at Genesee. Look at all the raindrops on the camera lens there. And Doppler 4000 showing some rain falling from downtown Denver and then to the northeast along the I-76 corridor. Commerce City, Brighton. Good afternoon. You're certainly seeing some rain. It's continuing up toward uh, Lock Bowie and Hudson up toward Keensburg as well. Fort Lupton, southern sections of Weld County seeing some rain. Starting to see some shower activity now out near Byers and down toward Roxboro. Uh, we have some rain. Boulder County, rain right now along US 36 and then up into the foothills. That's where a lot of the rain has been so far today over in the foothills, especially in Boulder County, up near Lyons. There was a long period of rain this morning. Interstate 80 up in uh, Wyoming from Laramie all the way over to Burns. We've got rain falling here this midday and up in the high country. I wanted to point out all this lightning that's just to the east of Middle Park, US 40 between Granby and Kremling right there. Hot Sulphur Springs. Look at all that lightning, some intense rainfall there as well. As we zoom out and take a look here at the uh, wider picture, we've got uh, this storm system that's spinning right now out of Arizona and into New Mexico. That's what sending all the moisture up in our direction. Now, as we go through tonight and into tomorrow, this low is going to finally start to move. It hasn't moved much in the last 24 to 48 hours, but by tomorrow it's going to be over in Kansas. And as it moves gradually farther away from us, we're going to see our weather start to improve. But this is noon tomorrow and look, there's still some rain over Colorado. Now, once the system finally loses its grip on our weather, we'll bring in high pressure and that's going to mean a dry and warmer weather pattern just in time for the Mother's Day weekend. Let's talk about what happens here going forward through the rest of today. Here's 6 p.m. Notice showers around Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins. No severe weather expected for Denver or the Front Range, but some of the rain could be heavy and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. If you want the heavy rain, that's in southern Colorado and there is the threat for some severe weather there. This is midnight tonight. Some very heavy rain still possible down to the southeast. That's snow along the San Greta Cristo Mountains and into the wet mountains, even Pikes Peak. We're looking at uh, six to 16 inches of snow there in uh, those southern mountain regions. And then here's tomorrow, 7 a.m. Still a few showers in Denver, rain out on the eastern plains, and then through midday tomorrow, the chance for showers. By the end of the day tomorrow, the weather will start clearing up. I mentioned that threat for severe weather. It's down to the southeast. La Junta, Lamar, those areas shaded in yellow, that's where the greatest concern is. Large hail, damaging wind in that part of the state. Again, up here in Denver and all of us here along the front range, just rain through the rest of today. High temperature 57. If we're lucky, we may not even get that high tomorrow. 62 and then Brent beautiful weather for the weekend. Couldn't ask for something better for Mother's Day. I think it's gonna be my gift to mom. Really? Yeah, I'll get her something 70. I don't have much time. I gotta start thinking about that 78 on Friday, 83 on Saturday and 79 for Mother's Day itself on Sunday. OK, I'll help you put it on your to do list. Yeah. Could you help me maybe with a gift idea? Gift, a gift for mom. Thank you, Ashton.